Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage and welcome back to the 300ZX project behind me here. So, on the last video, which I know was riveting, um, I went through all four corners, brakes and suspension, and sorted out what I believe are the parts I need to refresh and refurbish uh, both systems. And those parts have been ordered, and I've even got notification that some of them at least have been shipped already. So. I'm hopeful in the next couple of weeks they'll come trickling in and I'll have a pile of parts on the garage floor that I can start to bolt on the car. So in the meantime I'm going to start taking some things off the car and today I'm going to cover taking off or removing the sway bars, front and back sway bars on the car because those are all going to be refurbished and new bushings. So we're going to go and do those first and then we'll move on to other parts on other videos. Alright so we're going to Get on now with um, getting that front sway bar off. Uh, as you can see, I have the, the car on uh, dollies here, so I can move it around my garage. That gives me about three inches of lift or so. So I got enough room under there, I think, to work. Um, if you're just on the ground, you'll probably have to jack the car up. But assuming you've got that sorted, I'll show you what you've got to do down here. So first thing is this uh, splash shield here black plastic splash sheet or aero shield. I'm going to have to take that off. Um, there's some, you need a 10 mil socket, bolt there, bolt there, bolt there at the back. And then there are two just up, up under, under here. There's one on each side. You've got to get off. So five bolts and then it should slide out up under here. Yeah. Okay, I, I have to say, personally, I'm absolutely surprised that this is still here. Uh, most cars, these have long disappeared after 37 years, but it's here and it's in half decent shape. So we'll take that to one side and give it a bit of a clean up. And you can now see, there's the sway bar that goes across here. So, okay, so I'm maneuvering myself back under here. This is your sway bar. So this is the bushing, the bushing cap, if you will, that's got to come off. You're going to need a 14 mil socket for this. There's two bolts, one here and here. So we'll get those loosened off. All right. Okay, so that's loosened off now. I'll just leave it holding there for a minute in case it drops, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try to loosen up the end link or drop link now. And then we'll see if we can get this side loose. You need 14 mil spanner or wrench on the top and a 14 mil socket on the bottom okay so let me show you what I've done here um, in spite of my earlier claim that you could do this with the I was going to try and do this with the wheels on it just wasn't worth the struggle so taking the wheel off and then I've got a lift on a jack under the suspension and lifted it up to take the tension off here and here so this is loose and I've just cracked this got a wrench or spanner on the top and a deep socket on the bottom which has just come off you can see the this is all so it's disconnected there it's all loose up here now it's just held on just finger tight there so I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other side and then we should just be able to drop this sway bar out There we go. Sway bar out. Okay, so sway bar's out. The two bushing caps are there to be cleaned up and painted. The sway bar will be cleaned up and painted. We'll be replacing the two bushings plus of course the, the drop links. Um, and I should point out that I've learned as I've done this is the best thing to do is to get the end links off first, get both of them off, take all the tension off and then it's a lot easier to undo the fasteners on these once any any torsion or tension from the end links has been removed. So, 
So you won't be able to tell from the video, of course, but it's been weeks and weeks since we pulled the uh, front sway bar off the car. First part to come off, last part to go on. But finally, we're ready now to reinstall it. So I just finished installing the driver's side front suspension, all rebuilt, brakes all rebuilt, um, converted over from the adjustable shocks and all that fun stuff. So that's all done on both sides now. So finally we can get the, the sway bar in. We have everything ready here. Like everything else, it's been painted and cleaned up. Okay, so I've got the sway bar here sort of sitting on this scissor jack and basically the two ends are in place over the control arms there. Um, so now what I gotta try and do is lift it up into place enough to get the uh, well, I call them bearing caps, but the sway bar bushing brackets up and into place. They've got a slot in one end, so I've got the one bolt started there. So I'll hopefully slot that in and then start the second bolt by hand. All right, so there's the bracket loosely in place. These are just finger started, if you will. So just sitting up there now. Over the control arm so we'll do the other side we'll leave these very loose so there's no tension at all on them and then we'll start to put those together okay so we're going to start with the new drop link here there's, we've got a the metal cap and then the rubber bushing and that's going to go up under the control arm and then on top of the control arm we'll add another bushing another cap and then we add the sleeve and then we do the whole thing again up to the um, sway bar. So let's see if we can get this in place here. Bang everything. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Another one of those. Okay. Another cap. And the sleeve. all right so now we're gonna put that all through the end of the sway bar be another rubber bushing on top here another metal cap and then the, then the nut okay bit of squeezing and jiggling there but Got the nuts started now, so that one is snugged up into place. We'll go to the other side and then we can start tightening things up. So I have, there we are, I have this drop link all in place here. So everything's hand tight or snugged up, just snugged up with a socket there. Uh, I did have to jack this side off because I'm working with one wheel off still because I'm messing around over here so having that suspension drop down was putting torsion into the sway bar so I did have to jack that up so I could get everything to line up here um, but yeah it's everything's snugged up so I'm going to just start torquing things up here now we'll do the bushings first and then we'll go and do the drop links All right, we're just going to snug up these sway bar bushings now. And the torque specs 22 to 29, so I just set this here. All right, that's the second one of those done. All right, so we're just going to start torquing down the drop links now. They're 12 to 16 foot pounds. There we go. All right, so sway bar is in. Everything's torqued down. Things in place. We'll do a double check when it's on the ground, and we'll just double check everything. Might might drive it around the block first, and then go back and double check all of these. But all right, 
So, job's done. Uh, sway bar's all in with new bushings, new drop links and that. So, in fact, all front suspension, brakes, rebuild is all completed. So, we'll be moving on to the back soon. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful for you if you're doing your sway bars. And, you know, check out the other videos. Check out the ongoing work on the 300ZX Turbo here. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying the series or any of the others on the channel, a like, a subscribe would be just awesome, much appreciated. And uh, I hope I see everybody back here in the garage as we continue working on the, the ZX Turbo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Drive safely. Have a great day.